if you're a fan of music in general and drumming, and you believe that there's benefits to music making and active music making, and especially drumming, you're in the right spot. I'm gonna be talking about nine ways that drumming in particular, but music making in general, can be beneficial or even therapeutic. Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, a music educator, percussionist, and board certified music therapist. And I have an article, you can download this at our Patreon site, patreon.com slash Kalani, become a member and you can grab this PDF and learn more over there and connect with me personally. You can ask questions as many of our patrons do and I'll be happy to help you. So let's go through these nine ways drumming can be therapeutic or beneficial. One of the, I think, most obvious ways is physical exercise and conditioning. If you've ever seen the group uh, Kodo, the Taiko group from Japan, or West African drummers, right away I think you'll notice that it is a very physical activity. So the standing, moving, drumming, moving your arms, uh, it can be cardiovascular, it can be uh, just conditioning physically, you know, grasping arm movements, backs, legs, everything can really be involved as, as much as a sport uh, or exercise. Uh, as many other sports and exercise routines um, done within the drumming context, and that can all have huge benefits, especially in the cardiovascular area. But really, anytime we condition our bodies, it's going to help us in all areas of life. Now, related to that is another area, and let's call that physical expertise. You know, playing an instrument, um, it, it requires a lot of skills. Big, big motor skills, large motor skills, like I just mentioned, but also fine motor skills. You know, somebody actually called musicians micro-athletes, and I think that's a really interesting way to look at it. You know, when you play any instrument, you're developing what we call fine motor skills, right? Finger skills, uh, if you're playing wind instruments, sometimes you're using your, of course, your mouth, your tongue, your breath control. You're developing all of these skills that can then translate and tra and be used in any area of life. So you're not just learning to play an instrument, you're developing your capacity for moving through the world, for executing all sorts of different tasks, like skills for daily living or tasks for daily living. So as we get older too, that becomes really uh, important and maintaining our capacity to do things, even feed oneself as we get older, uh, or operate certain machinery, do what you need to do in life, music will support, or active music making, playing an instrument will support all of those and result, I think, in a huge benefit. And it can also be therapeutic along the way. It just feels good to move and, and, and do things. Um, related to that one, let's talk about the psychological or emotional benefits of doing what I just described. One of those, we could, we could categorize it as achievement. Uh, Engaging in any kind of activity, whether it's a hobby or profession, uh, when you make progress, you practice, you, we think of as, let's just call it moving up. I don't know if it's moving up or sideways. It doesn't really matter. But we have this idea of achievement, right? You have a goal, you couldn't do X, Y, Z, and you've worked, and now you can do it. And that is really satisfying. It's one of the ways we sort of mark our progress, uh, throughout life and we can feel good about ourselves and each other when we engage in something where there's these achievable objectives and goals and we reach them. And music, of course, as many of you know, op offers virtually endless opportunities for uh, practice and achievement uh, and reaching that kind of fulfilling um, feeling of satisfaction <laughs> when you get there. Related to that, and these are all related, um, we, could, we could look at um, using music as a way to organize our, our being, you know, our beingness, our functioning. You can use music to help, for example, regulate breathing, regulate walking, moving. We can use music to uh, facilitate movement in different ways, for example, like marching or swaying, depending on the meter and the feel of the music. Depending on the tempo, we could relate it to breathing, which uh, many of us need to do, maybe perhaps deeper or, be or just better, <laughs> more functioning. So we can use music uh, to, let's just call it organize our functioning, uh, both physically and 
perhaps mentally, psychologically, or emotionally. Uh, and music often is done in that way. And let's go to another category now, which is perhaps more focused in that, which could, let's just call it meditation. Um, it's obvious that all around the world, music is used, and drumming often is used to create, uh, to facilitate, and to promote uh, spiritual connections to bring us into the moment. You know, music always happens in the here and now. So, in the here, <laughs> H-E-A-R, and now. Um, and so, therefore, it offers lots of opportunities for grounding ourselves in the present, for focusing or perhaps not focusing on something we don't want to focus on, like remembering the past or imagining the future, you know, focusing on the present moment, uh, feeling grounded, and even helping us celebrate, helping us reach deeper into our spiritual practice, whatever that is, music is there to help us. And drumming is, of course, one of the oldest and most widely used uh, genres of music all around the world that connects with that spiritual practice, or you could call it meditation, the whole spectrum. Uh, one of the benefits I think of, of drumming, uh, and maybe those of you that have a related activity like we talked about earlier, like a physical activity, can relate to this idea of a drummer's high. And those of you, it, and it doesn't matter if it's done professionally or casually, like in a community drum circle, when you play, you do something for a while, you can enter into the zone and tune in, tune out, wherever you're tuning. <laughs> you can reach this point where you are transformed or you know, transported to another state of being. Often when we do something like um, music making and we're engaging in something satisfying, as I've talked about, we're achieving something, or we're just connecting with the music, uh, there is a release of feel-good hormones, dopamine, uh, serotonin, you know, all kinds of feel-good hormones that, that we enjoy, that we uh, would prefer to feel as opposed to things like cortisol or epinephrine stress hormones. So we can use music making, in this case drumming, to help us achieve that, uh, let's just call it the drummer's high. And there's ways of course that we can dial in on that if you're interested in that, you can connect with me more over at Patreon. Um, another way that music can be very beneficial and, and therapeutic and I can speak to this both as a music educator and music therapist, is in the area of, let's just call it expression. It's really important for people to be able to express uh, themselves, whether that's a conscious thought uh, or a unconscious or, uh, or suppressed thought or feeling or emotion. And in music, especially in music therapy, but also in other forms of music making, people are empowered and able to do that. Um, because music is a nonverbal form of communication. Of course, we can certainly talk about music, but we don't have to talk about music because it speaks for itself. And when people play, uh, especially drums, I think, because of the physicality and because of the often the community setting, there's a lot of feelings of support. Uh, you can take chances. You can play what you want, how you want. You can express yourself and be heard, be seen, represent yourself and also see and hear and witness others. And that relates to the next area that we're going to talk about, which is super important, uh, which is social support. We can think of it as peer support, making connections, just socializing in general, playing drums in a group setting or even in a partner plus setting uh, offers so many opportunities for communicative expression, for a dialogue to take place, for somebody to add their voice to the conversation, uh, to connect and feel the power of unity in a community music setting. And it's obvious, I think, anybody who knows anything about drumming knows that drummers love to get together and play together and support one another and do all of the things that we've talked about so far. Um, I'm going to leave you with one more aspect or ways that drumming can be beneficial 
And that is related to this idea of beauty. It's something that we don't often talk about as a need or as a you know category, uh, but I think it's important. We I think we all need a certain um, level of beauty in the world to feel how we want to feel. I mean, music is a humanity. It's not a science. It's not. It's it is an art form, but it's more than that. Um, it's a humanity. It's it's how we feel human. It's how we express and do all the things I talked about. But if you think about the idea of beauty, um, I think it's important. When I was volunteering down at the Los Angeles uh, Women's Center uh, shelter in downtown LA, they had a saying that uh, I'll always remember. It said, women need bread and roses. So we need, you know, the basics. We need food, shelter, clothing. But I think we also need beauty in our lives. And drumming, because it is an art form, and music making in general, you know, often drumming is, a, is accompanied by singing and dancing and perhaps, you know, clothing and other things, you know, costume, costuming and regalia in many cases. Um, there is this wonderful aspect of beauty, and I think it's something that we all appreciate. I think it's something that uh, we gravitate towards and that we need in our lives. All right, what do you need in your life? What do you need more of? If you have any helpful tips or comments uh, about anything I've talked about, leave them below. If you have a story you'd like to share or an anecdote, put it in the comments. If you'd like to connect with me more or you have questions about how drumming can be used therapeutically or if you have questions about music therapy or you're an educator and you have questions about how you could use drumming more effectively to reach some of your goals with your students or for yourself or your community, connect with me at patreon.com slash Kalani. I'd be happy to help you. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.